Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you a few plants that I have around the house that are doing really well for me. Some of them are indoors and there's a couple outdoors on my patio. I wanna take you around the apartment to show you the plants instead of having them all in front of me. That way you can see where they're located around my apartment. Okay guys, so I'm in my living room area and as you can see, this is my plant wall right here. And the first plant that I wanna highlight is this philodendron. I purchased this from Home Depot and it's actually three plants in one. It was one of those plants that go for $12.99 each and I had purchased one initially and I really liked it. And so I found two more and I just went ahead and I combined it in a large pot. I think this is a philodendron urubescens. I'm not really sure, but I really, really am in love with the way that this is growing. I do have it on some stakes. As you can see, this is a stake right here. Actually, I think that's the only stake on there right now, but um, it's doing really nicely. Um, I would say that I water this maybe once every two weeks so here i'm just showing you the distance between the plant and my east facing window so this one's doing really great i love the large leaves and i just think it's really pretty and i'm very happy with it So I just wanted to show you that I actually put the plant up on a plant stand and raised it up off the floor. And this is what it's looking like up here now. And I purchased this plant stand from Walmart actually. Okay guys, so next up is this alocasia right here. And I'm almost certain that it's a pink dragon. And as you can see, it has those really nice pink stems. And I purchased this from Trader Joe's for $7.99. And I am absolutely in love with it. I wasn't sure about purchasing another alocasia because as most people know, alocasias are prone to spider mites, but I pretty much watch my plants on a regular. I check the bottoms of the leaves where they usually like to hide out on a regular basis. And so far, this has been doing really well. I've had it for a few months now. And I mean, I am absolutely in love with it it's doing really, really well. I would say I water this about once a week. So I just took it out and put it on the table because I wanted you to see how tall it's growing. It was nowhere near that tall when I first got it. And here you can see how pretty the pink petioles are. Okay guys, so up next is my Philodendron Burl Marks. And this was another purchase from Home Depot. It was one of those plants that were $12.99 and I put it in this pot that I got from Home Goods. I think this is a Cynthia Rowley pot. And 
this plant has grown so much since I've gotten it and I really don't do much to it. I water usually every two weeks and I rotate it a lot because it seems to grow a lot towards the sun. But I'm really, really happy with this right now. It's doing really well. I actually still have it inside the nursery pot that it came in and I just sat it inside this um, ceramic pot here. Okay, next up is this Raphidophora tetrasperma. And I purchased this from Lowe's. It was from the Urban Jungle line. And I'm pretty sure it came in this pot right here. And I'm really, really happy with this so far. It's so easy care. It has so many leaves on it. And I know if it wasn't on the shelf, I could stake it up and have it climb up. Um, like this one piece right here is going straight up and it just keeps shooting out new leaves. There's a new leaf right there. And I just left it here for now because I just like how quirky it looks growing up to the next shelf. And I probably only water this once every two weeks, if that. Another plant that I am so in love with that I really didn't expect to fall in love with like this is my Philodendron Xanadu. And I purchased this from a supermarket in Orlando called Lot Market for about $9.99. And I put it inside this owl pot that I got from Big Lots and I just really, really love it. It's really easy care. Just like my other philodendrons, I'd say I probably water it about once every two weeks. And you could also see all the little babies that have been shooting out. There's a bunch of little baby leaves. Okay, so next I wanted to feature a few plants that are out on my patio. And this one here is a beer paw succulent. And right next to it is the variegated version. And they're actually doing really well outside in a bright shaded area. And I water those about once a week. Next up is my Ficus Elastica Ruby. And this plant is doing really well. It's outside in bright and direct sunlight. And I water this about once a week as well. So the next plant that I want to feature is this variegated bougainvillea. I purchased this from Walmart for about $5.99 and I really bought it for the beautiful variegated foliage because when I first got it, it didn't have any flowers on it at all and I wasn't sure if I was going to even be able to keep it alive. But ever since the spring, it's been putting out these really pretty hot pink flowers. So this plant is outside in bright indirect light and I water it about once a week. I also have a water globe inside of it just in case it gets dried out when it's really hot outside. But it really isn't giving me any trouble at all and it's doing really well.
So yeah, guys, I'm really proud of those plants and I just wanted to share them with you all to let you know that they're doing really well, especially given that I have very little light here in my apartment and um, I don't even use a humidifier. I do have a humidifier, but I don't use it because the humidity level in here is usually over 50%, which seems to be okay for the plants that I have. I mean, pretty much all my plants are doing well at this time. Um, I, none of them are really struggling, but I just wanted to highlight those plants in particular because I've been so happy with them lately and I wanted to let you guys know that they were doing well for me just in case you were interested in getting the same plants and you had similar living conditions um, like with little light. So a few things that have been working really well for me around the house lately with my plants for one is this lamp right here. So I'm not really into the whole look of grow lights in my living room, but since I have so many plants, I wanted to figure out a way that I can put some type of grow lights out here without it looking so obvious. So I purchased this tall lamp here from Target. These are like goosenecks and you could extend it whichever direction you want. And all I did was I purchased some grow lights from Walmart and I'll show you how this goes. So basically right now I have three light bulbs inside and I just point them where I want them. Like that one right there is facing those plants up there. And then this one right here goes directly on this philodendron and this one here, I usually have facing all of these down here. So I don't think it looks too bad. Yeah. So I believe this is by Room Essentials. And like I said, it was about $20. And each one of the light bulbs in here from um, Walmart were about $5 each. So mm -hmm. I don't have the grow lights in all of them because sometimes it could be a little bit too much on my eyes when I'm working out here in the living room but these three right here are actually um, doing the job for me. I think me. that it's really helping the plants. Um, there's some of them on that table right underneath there that are shooting out new leaves all the time. And I really never used to see that much growth in my plants indoors. So I think that that's working. And at the same time, it doesn't look too bad in the living room. So I'll see if I can link that down below. So one of the other products that's been working really well for me around the house is actually for fungus gnats. So if any of you are like me, I'm pretty sure at some point or another you've had an issue with fungus gnats. And it's just something that's prone to happen when you have indoor plants, especially if you're using soil. Sometimes when you bring the plants home from the store, the eggs or the larvae is actually inside the soil already. So you can't really see them in there. So that's why it's good to treat your soil when you bring your plants home immediately. Either use um, a mixture of peroxide and water or, you know, just put it in new soil. So this is the product that I've been using. It's called Catchy and I purchased it from Amazon. And basically what it does is it has this UV light at the top that attracts the fungus gnats and then it has a fan inside. And so once the fungus gnat is attracted to the blue UV light, it will suck it in through the fan. And then down here on the bottom is a sticky trap and it catches the fungus gnats on there. And I know that looks really gross, but I wanted to leave it there so you can see. Um, this has actually been here for about two or about two or three weeks, I would say. So I'm gonna be changing this after this video, but um, you can see it catches a lot of fungus gnats. And I haven't been seeing them flying around on my face that much lately. I'm not sure exactly how much it is, but I think it's about, $39. I'm going to link it down below in the description box because like I said, if you're having any issues with fungus gnats, I would highly recommend this. It has two settings on here. This is a standard setting and then it has a low setting. So basically the standard um, has a little bit more noise than the low. I'll go ahead and I'll switch it to the low setting so you can see, excuse my nail. So as you can see, the low setting is a little quieter 
and the fan isn't as strong, but I keep it on the standard setting. Usually it catches the fungus gnats mostly at night, but this is something I highly recommend. And um, it came with the machine and it also came with a pack of the sticky traps. So I think I'm gonna have to order some more of those sticky traps because I usually change that out maybe every two weeks and it's about that full. I know it's really gross, but it's even worse when you're sitting around trying to watch TV or do anything and there's fungus gnats flying in your face. So guys, this is really, really good. And another thing that I wanted to recommend is this Bonide Insecticidal Super Soap. This is what I use when I bring a new plant home. I always spray it down completely with this and I've been getting refills, well not refills, I've been purchasing these bottles over and over and I really like it. It seems to do the job for me. I don't have any insect problems in here besides the fungus gnats once in a while. And like I said, the catchy is doing a great job at helping for that. But for those of you who are interested in what I use to spray my plants down, I purchased this right from Home Depot, but I'll see if I can find it on um, line and link it down below for you. Also guys, I wanted to ask you if you would be interested in me doing a video of what I have in my plant supply cabinet. One of the other things that's been working out really well for me are these water globes. So basically this is in case you have a plant that needs water all the time, like for instance, calatheas, peace lilies, or even like a newer plant that I have, a zebra plant needs water like every other day. Instead of you having to water it every single day, especially if you're out of town a lot, or if you just don't have time to water the plants every other day, these come in really handy because you fill it up, you put it in the soil, and once the soil gets dry, it'll take water from this as needed so you don't have to water it every other day. And then um, once this is empty, you just fill it back up and put it in there. But I would say that for most of my plants, this usually lasts maybe about three or four days. So I would highly recommend this. I got these from Walmart for about $1.99. Super, super helpful. So I hope I didn't leave any details out of this video. I'm sure when I start editing, I'll remember certain things, but if there's anything else that you're interested in or any questions that you have that you want me to answer for you regarding um, my plants or um, the products that I use, leave me a comment down below. So I just wanted to let you guys know what plants were doing really well for me right now. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, comment and subscribe for more plant related videos. And also let me know if you want me to do that video on what's inside my plant cabinet.